The SolidWorks Copy Settings Wizard allows users to save or restore a copy of SolidWorks system options, toolbar layout, customized menus and mouse gestures, keyboard shortcuts, and saved views. SolidWorks Copy Settings Wizard can also be used to copy your SolidWorks settings to a new computer, standardize SolidWorks settings across multiple users, or even restore to previous SolidWorks settings as a troubleshooting step for unexpected behavior. To launch SolidWorks Copy Settings Wizard with SolidWorks closed, select Windows Start. Then, from the SolidWorks Tools folder, select SolidWorks Copy Settings Wizard. The wizard can also be launched from within SolidWorks by selecting Tools and then Save Restore Settings. Though, use this method with caution since not all customizations are saved to the Windows registry until SolidWorks is closed. And since the Copy Settings Wizard is creating copies of specific registry keys in the settings file, the recommended method is close SolidWorks and launch the wizard from Windows Start. There are two choices in the wizard's dialog. Save Settings exports a settings file and Restore Settings imports a saved settings file. A quick note here, you will not be able to restore a settings file until you save a file to restore from. So best practice is to save at least one file after install or once you've customized your SolidWorks interface. We'll start with the Save Settings option. At the top of the dialog, click the Browse button and navigate to the desired location to save the settings file with the file extension SLDREG. The default save location is your Windows User Documents folder. and You might want to consider applying a descriptive name such as including the SolidWorks version. The default file name is SW Settings. The examples in this video will include the SolidWorks major version. So for example, SW Settings 2021. From the Save These Settings list, select which category of settings you would like to include in the saved file. I recommend choosing all categories and then only restoring the ones you need. Click Finish to create the settings file in the specified location and then click OK on the confirmation screen to complete the process and close the wizard. Before we look at restoring settings, let's take a quick look in SolidWorks to see which settings we might want to restore. This is a default installation of SolidWorks 2021, with all system options, file paths for templates, toolbars, mouse gestures, keyboard shortcuts, and many other settings which get customized by users are all set to the default. Now let's look at restoring settings to set SolidWorks up to include my customized settings from a previous version. In the Copy Settings Wizard dialog with the Restore option, click the Browse button and navigate to the desired settings file. Note, if you have multiple versions installed, you can choose which major version to apply the settings. The example I'm using is restoring a file saved using SolidWorks 2020 to my SolidWorks 2021 version. Choose the desired setting categories to restore and then click Next. On the Select a Destination screen, use the descriptions to choose the appropriate destination. I'll choose the Current User option and then click Next. When prompted to create a backup of the current user settings, I'll choose Yes to create a backup of my default SolidWorks 2021 installation settings and then click Finish to complete the settings restore. Once complete, click OK on the confirmation dialog and the settings have been restored and SolidWorks is now ready to use. Now let's open SolidWorks and see what was restored. A couple examples here are my file paths are now set to my customized locations. My command manager and toolbars are set to my customized layouts and my mouse gestures have been restored so I can access my most commonly used commands quickly. Lastly, we'll cover a few best practices to consider when using SolidWorks Copy Settings Wizard. When saving settings, select all setting categories so they are all available when you choose to restore. When restoring, you can selectively turn off categories which you do not want to restore. Settings files should be treated like SolidWorks templates by saving a copy before and after every major upgrade. Where I save my settings, I have a copy of each major version since I have multiple versions installed side by side. Do not apply previous versions of settings to newer versions of SolidWorks without first saving a copy of the current version settings and then testing and verification once the previous settings have been restored. This way you can always revert back to the previously saved settings. Lastly, the restore option can also be used to help diagnose unexpected SolidWorks behavior by restoring a previously saved copy of your settings. Restoring one category at a time and then testing to see if the unexpected behavior has been resolved can be useful in diagnosing the root cause of the behavior. For example, if you changed one or more system options and are now experiencing unexpected behavior, but you don't recall which option may have caused it, 
you can use the Restore option to restore only the System Options category to see if it resolves the behavior. Now that you know how to use SolidWorks Copy Settings Wizard, take a few minutes to save a settings file to use as a backup, standardize settings across multiple users, or help you get up and running quickly in SolidWorks if you ever need to change computers.